Hi guys, this is Sadek from Drawin.com, and in this video, we'll show you how to spoof, fake, or hide the bootloader unlock status on your phone. So as of now, the phone that I'm using has an unlock bootloader. Let me show you that as well. For that, you could use quite a few methods. I'll be using a fastboot command to get this job done. So let me use this command and show you the status. So this is the fastboot OEM device info. So let me open the command prompt here and type in this command. And as you could see, next to device unlock is showing as true. This signifies that the bootloader has been unlocked. Apart from that, you could use one more command to get this job done. And this is the fastboot get war unlocked. So using these two command, I have shown you as you could see unlocked. Yes. So using these two command, it is now verified that my phone bootloader is currently unlocked. But now let me show you an interesting thing. So let me now boot my phone to the OS. And as of now, I have spoofed the bootloader status to logged and even the system is not able to identify the phone bootloader has been unlocked. Even in the developer option, it's currently being shown that the bootloader is logged. Yes, that's the most interesting part of this guide. Apart from that, you may also hide the unlock status from all the third party or even system apps as well. And I'll show you first. So let me first go to the settings menu. And from there, let me go to about phone or rather let's go to the Additional settings, developer option. And from here, as you could see in case of OEM unlocking, it's allowing us to unlock the toggle. Likewise, in the me unlock status, it is showing as this device is logged and the phone is secured. So this signifies that the bootloader is logged. But in fact, as you as I've shown you, the bootloader is currently unlocked on my phone. So the tweak which I will show you will even spoof the system settings to show that the phone is logged when in reality the phone is unlocked. So for the sake of reference, I'll be using an app name as key attestation. So currently with the help of this, as you could see, it is showing as bootloader is logged because we have carried out the tweak and using that tweak, it is showing that the bootloader is logged when in fact the bootloader is currently unlocked. So either via this third party app or even from the system, you could see that the phone is not able to identified that the bootloader has been unlocked and we could now easily use all the banking payment and, and all such apps that was earlier causing an issue. So regarding this, most of the banking apps just check for root and play integrity test. But there are a few apps which checks for the bootloader unlock status. And for those apps, this tweak may come in handy. If your phone does not check for this, but instead it check for safety net or play integrity, then you may re refer to my other video and the guide to get the job done. As of now, I show you just how to spoof the bootloader unlock status. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, let me remove all the tweaks and get my phone back to the stop ecosystem and then we'll get started. Okay, one more thing. As of now, let me show you. I'm passing the first and second test as well with regards to the play integrity test. So let me show that as well. So now I have spoofed the bootloader unlock status as well. And apart from that, I am also passing the device and basic integrity. In other words, I am passing the play integrity test as well. So as of now, I could easily use all the banking and payment app, whether they check for the play integrity or whether they check for the key attestation bootloader status. In both these cases, there will be no such issue as such, even though the bootloader has been unlocked on our phone. So with that said, let's get started. So guys, I have removed all the tweaks. So let's now first verify and let me show you. First off, I will be failing the test as well. The plain integrity I am failing, that's well and good. Apart from that, now comes the most important part. So let's check the key attestation. As you could see, the bootloader is unlocked. So that is failing as well. Likewise, let's check the same from the developer option as well. So let me go here and developer option. And as you could see, the OEM unlocking is already enabled. And it will signify that the bootloader has been unlocked on my phone. And me unlock status is also showing the device is unlocked. So as of now, we are failing all these tests. And now I'll show you how to spoof the status and log show that your phone is logged when in reality it will still be unlocked. So with that in mind, let's get started. Just to be on a safer side, please take a backup of all the data on your phone. And once that is done, your first course of action is to root your phone via Magisk. I made a separate guide and a video on the same. You could refer to my guide and get this job done. Once you have obtained root, as you could see in my case, it's rooted. You now have to ins install the LS Post framework on your phone. I have made a separate guide and a video, but I'll show you once again. So let's get started with the process. First and foremost, you will have to enable Zygisk on your Magisk. So launch the Magisk app, tap on the settings icon and enable the toggle next to Zygisk. 
it will ask you to do a restart. We will do a restart later on, not right now. Once you have enabled Zygisk, you will now have to download the LS Pro framework for Zygisk release. So go there and expand the asset section and get hold of the Zygisk release LS post. Once you have got this zip file, transfer it onto your phone and you will now have to flash this zip file via Magisk. So go to the module section, tap on install from storage and let's now select the LS post zip file. So th this is the LS post zip, tap on OK, it will now be flashed in a matter of few seconds. Once flashed, just tap on reboot. So upon a reboot, the Zygis will be enabled. Likewise, this module will be installed. But as of now, the module will be installed in the backend. We will have to install this APK as well. And the APK file is inside its zip file itself. So you will have to extract the zip file and then install the APK file as well to get hold of the app. So I'll show you that as well. Just wait for a few seconds and our phone should now boot into the OS. Once that happens, you will have to extract the LS post framework zip file and then install the APK. So you may use any file manager app of your choice. Let me see which files app is there. So I have a file manager app. And just a minute. From here, let me show you this is the LS post zip file. Go there. Let me extract it here. So inside the LS post folder, you will now see a manager.apk file. So simply install it. Tap on update. If you're getting an update icon, then tap on update. If you're getting install, tap on install. And now tap on open. And make sure that the, you are getting an activated shown here. If that's well and good, once launch Magisk as well. And verify that you are getting yes next to Zygis as you can see from here. And the LS post should be activated from here as well. And with this, we are done with the first task. Now you will have to flash the bootloader spoofer module from GitHub. So get hold of the module app from here. Let me show you its APK. This is go to the asset and download the app release or APK. And now you will have to install this APK file. So let's install it. This is the app. Tap on install. And the app has now been installed. Tap on done. And you will get a prompt that expose module is not activated. Tap on it. And if it does not open anything, then you may manually open the LS post as well. From there, go to the module section and from the module section, you will have to enable the toggle next to enable module. Likewise, please make sure that the key at a session has been checkmarked as well. This is extremely important. So once you have checkmarked this, let's now move ahead and restart our phone once this restart is compulsory. So let's do that as well. Apart from that, you will now have to do a restart. So let's do that restart. You will do a restart from Magisk itself. So tap on reboot and your phone will now restart. And this time around, we should have hidden the bootloader unlock setup from our phone and from the OS as well. So let's verify the same and then we will move ahead with the next step. So it will take a few seconds to boot up. As of now, we have spoofed the bootloader unlock setup, but if we haven't yet passed the plain integrity test. So I'll show you how to pass that test as well. There exists quite a few methods. I'll show you one of those methods. So let's just wait for a few more seconds and then we will move ahead. So let me now unlock my phone. So let's now launch the key attestation app and check out the results. So as you could see, the bootloader is currently logged. It's shown as log, even though in reality, the bootloader is unlocked on my phone. I'll show you that once again, just to be double sure. Let me show you that as well. So let me boot my phone to the fast boot mode once again and then I'll get this job done. So let me show you just to be double sure. I'm booting my phone to the fast boot mode and then I'll use both these commands and show you that the bootloader is currently unlocked on my phone. But still the app and the system is not able to identify that. So first off, if I use the fast boot get var unlocked, you could see unlocked is yes. Likewise, if I use the fast boot OEM device info, device unlocked too. But in reality, but we have spoofed the info and as of now, the apps as well as the system is not able to identify that which was our main course of action. Apart from that, your next course of action is to pass the plain integrity test as well. This is optional and only required if, you, if the app requires that. In some cases, the app only requires you to spoof the bootloader status. It does not require you to pass the plain integrity test. But most of the banking and payment app also require you to pass the test as well. In this regard, I have made a separate guide and a video. In this guide, I have given out around four or five methods to get this job done. You may refer to my guide and the video, but still I will show you one method through which you could carry out this task. 
for all the other four five months you may check out my video over here and then you may carry out the task but still i'll show you one of these methods first off let me show you once again the bootloader has been spoofed in my case it's currently logged so with that said i will still be failing the plain integrity check so let's not move ahead and pass the test we have to only pass the first and second test you will not be able to pass the third test so do keep in mind and the third test is not required only the first and second test is required to pass so let's get that job done for that you will have to get hold of the rom file sorry for that you will have to download a module but before that you will have to hide the magic app and let's get that job done so open the magic app and tap on the settings icon apart from that then you have to tap on hide the magic app then rename it to something else so let's just rename it to let's say dwidwin just a minute tap on okay once the app has been hidden you will get a prompt if you want a shortcut on the home screen it's completely optional so i'll tap on cancel i don't want a shortcut and with this let me show you our new magic app so guys as you could see this is the new magic app in my case and its name is dwidwin and the magic logo has also been changed so let's now move on with the next step now you will have to get hold of the play integrity module text from the github page make sure to get hold of the latest build from here and simply download the zip file on your phone and once you have got hold of the zip file you now have to flash the zip file so launch the magic scrap go to modules tap on install from storage and now select this zip file and flash it so let me select the zip file this should be here itself just a minute so this is the zip file selected tap on okay and the module will now be flashed once that is done tap on reboot and your phone will now reboot with the to the os and the module will be activated once the module has been activated you will now have to hide a few apps from root this involves the google apps and the banking and payment app of your choice and after that we will just have to do a restart once again and then our task stands complete so only a couple of steps more are left let's just wait for the phone to boot to the os and then we will hide the root from the google apps and get the job done so we are now inside the os and the module should now be activated let's verify the same so launch the magic app go to modules and as you could see the plain integrity fix is now enabled so now you will have to hide the root from a few google apps namely google play service google play store google service framework and the google pay product service if this app is there on your phone so launch the magic app go to the settings menu enable the toggle next to enforce deny list then go to configure deny list tap on the overflow icon and select show system apps and now let's hide the root from these apps first is the play service so let me search for that app google play service and enable the toggle next to all the services next up is the google play store enable the toggle next to all the services then we have the google services framework so let me search for the framework app as well google service framework enable the toggle next to all its services the final one is the google play product service this app is not there on my phone let me show you that as well so as you could see it's not there on my phone so i don't have to hide the root from this app once that is done you will now have to remove the data but before that also make sure to hide the root from the banking and payment app of your choice so in the similar manner just choose the banking and payment app from here and simply check mark it and it will be hide the root from that app as well once you've chosen the app of your choice you will now have to remove the data of all these apps in other words you will have to remove the data of this banking and payment app and apart from that these google apps as well so let me get that job done so for that go to the settings menu on your phone from there you have to go to apps then go to manage apps show system apps then now search for the play services let's do that then clear data manage space clear all data delete again go to manage apps this time search for the play store so go to play store clear data clear all data okay then is the google service framework app so google service framework clear data clear all data okay after that you will have to remove the data of google play product service if it's there on your phone and finally you will have to remove the data of the banking and payment app of your choice once you have removed the data from all these apps you will now have to finally restart your phone once so simply do a restart you may do so by the magic scrap itself so launch the magic scrap then tap on the settings icon or either the reboot icon and choose reboot and your phone will now reboot to the os and this same around we should be passing the plain integrity test apart from that we have 
already spoofed the bootloader unlock status. So as of now, even though the bootloader is currently unlocked in your phone, the system will show that the bootloader is logged. And even though your phone is rooted via Magisk, the system will show that the phone is not rooted. As a result of which, you will not be able to use all the banking and payment app, which checks for the bootloader status as well as for root. You may use all those apps without any issues. So let me show you both this test result as well. First off, let me launch the plain integrity checker app. Tap on check and you should now pass the first and second test. And as you can see, we are now passing both these tests, which signify that we are passing the plain integrity test. Likewise, we have already spoofed the key attestation. Let me show that as well. And as you can see, the bootloader is currently logged. So we are done with both this task. Finally, let me show you the status from the developer option as well. So go to the developer option, then you have to go to the uh, from here additional settings developer option. And as you could see from here, let me show you the bootloader set is showing us allow the bootloader to be unlocked. So this means that the system is believing that the bootloader is currently logged. Likewise, the me unlock set is shown as the bootloader is logged, the device is logged. Even though the bootloader on our phone is currently unlocked, the phone is not able to identify the same. So guys, on that note, I round up this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.